Coach, building this team, did you ever envision you'd be in the championship game when you were just putting everything together? I mean, I don't, I'll, I'll give you an honest and true story. I wrote October 8th on the board because that's what we wanted to be able to do. But to do it is totally different. And then you have to get so many people to come together and not only do the job, but learn the relationships and learn the processes. And while it was a lofty goal to still be playing and the training this week, um, I think early on after we started it, we kind of knew there was something special uh, with the group of players, with the staff, with the support of the club. And, and you know, that's just a feeling. And then you translate it into some results. It, when things didn't go well in the season, love the reaction of the group and then you feel like oh like we might have a chance at, at taking that another step so as it evolved yeah we thought we could could be in this position and playing but again credit to the players credit to the staff and I'm, I'm talking you know whether it's B with the equipment or whether it's Bomi with how we operate and how we move from place to place it's been incredible uh, to get here with this group of people. And, and so I'm just impressed with that. And yes, I had it on my board because that's what we should be shooting for. Was there a specific game or a stretch of games when you realized, okay, this team is, is good and we have a chance to make it far? It's, that's a really tough question because every week we just wanted to be better than we were last week. And so I believe that you look at that from a, I'm using the word process, but you look at it, okay, we just had this result, who's up next? How do we get ready? What players are we playing? Who do we need to put in the group? You know, we, we brought a, a group of professional players together, small number of guys that have played pro. We brought a huge number of academy players in here. Um, all of them have contributed. Uh, some college guys that came out of college and, and had potential, you know, they were, now, in a, for the first time in their lives, been playing in this continuous nine-month kind of grind. It, that's pretty impressive. Um, but we got all of those kind of pieces, the right amount of whatever they needed, minutes, training, you know, hard games, good games. So while doing all of that, we kept on going week to week. I would say in answer to your question, no, I never really said, okay, this is the game that can do it for us. I just thought, okay, we have to get better and better, and we're doing really well, um, especially when we were on the road. Like, think about our road stretch in August. That was pretty amazing. And it came off of a tough result in Seattle. So, um, you know, when you can do those kind of things, yeah, you think, okay, this group's, this group's some, got some character about them that they, they can persevere through ultimately playoffs and, you know, moments where it's just tough. You talk a little bit about the chemistry of the team. That's it. That's building relationships, I think, are so vital in any team sport. Um, and the relationships that were built were so solid that now they can start kind of progressing as a group. And that chemistry was, you know, we picked players that we believe were good people. We have a certain profile of what we expect because of our style of play. It's very intentional by Lutz. Um, you know, Bradley is like the details of how you have to do that are so precise that there's not much wiggle room for a player if they don't have a strong character to them, uh, that they're going to be able to be successful in that. So that's where I think the chemistry comes in, where guys are just willing to go do it, play their role. When their number is called, they're in, you know, um, they're brave about that, you know. Part of it is that we're we're a developmental team, so we'll make our fair share of mistakes, but how do we react to it? And that part has been really good from the group. So the chemistry, yeah, it's pretty good. So you're going for aggressive type players, people that can you know they keep the pressure up, keep it going. And uh, are there players that you see with potential that have the right attitude that you can coach up and make them great players? Yeah, I mean, every single one of these guys, I think, came here with the idea that they were going to play on this team because in 2023 they wanted to be playing on some team. And why wouldn't you? And, you know, that's maybe what we tried to present to them, this opportunity to grow, get better, 
and literally take another step in your own individual evolution. How are we going to do that? You don't do that by having a bad team, though. So you have to have a team that comes together and literally, you know, lifts each other up in moments so that you can, whether it's just as an individual or small group or the whole collective, get better and better. And we've seen that. We've seen that happen. As an example, we've signed Kyle Heber from this team to the first team. You know, there'll be other guys that we will announce that have done that exact job. You know, we've seen a lot of teenagers that have literally gone from playing, you know, amateur youth soccer to now the feeling and belief that, hey, I can play with men. I can play with professional men. That's that's all part of an individual pathway, but none of them would have it if we didn't have this kind of group and environment and culture that we have right now. Coach, there's obviously a lot of excitement already for this franchise coming to town, but with your success and if you bring home a championship, what do you think that does? I mean, I think it just kind of, look, we've already done it to go backwards. Like, it doesn't matter if we bring home a championship. What we were tasked with doing, we've been successful. Um, and mostly we've been successful in the ways that you can't measure on results because we wanted to do something here that allowed us to be better in 2023. That was a whole reason for having this team a year before we, we go into the MLS. But everything we do, we wanted to act like we were that MLS team. We were, were the top team for this club. We're the top team in this city, which is the best soccer city in the whole country by a landslide, you know? So I want to I want to tr- just express to you guys that that process is way more important than whether we win a trophy. Now, I want to win a trophy. No question. Like and I believe we're good enough to win a trophy, but you know, it's gravy at this point for us. What about the key? Can you explain the key and the celebration, the little prop? <laughs> it was kind of a rallying point after your last game, the big victory. Yeah. Uh, Two words, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I can explain that in front of cameras. And that's really, I've been doing that for a long time, uh, and it's a very private moment. So now people in St. Louis have, have seen the little secrecy that I had for a long time with the, the group or the staff. And that's, look, we also want to be ourselves. And so we're not bashful about every individual expressing themselves and me included because when you work so hard with a group of people like what more can you say at the end of a like a grind where you just put it all out there where you Bradley uses this term emptying the tank like you empty the tank you give every bit of energy you have like it's a good way to celebrate you You know in St. Louis I mean they're probably going to end up all manufacturing and buying keys and bringing them to the game and waving them around Uh that's how we work I know that's pretty awesome, isn't it? <laughs> and 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 for sure, like I think we all know that there's something special in this city, just as a sports town as a, a whole. You know, I was I was in an Uber last night, and this Uber driver, he was talking about baseball, and then I just kind of said, "Hey, yeah, I, I know what that's like." He like looks in the rearview mirror, and he's like, "What? What do you do?" And I said, "I'm." coach with the team and like this guy went ballistic he was just excited and he wasn't even a soccer fan he was just a massive sports fan but then he's like wait you're the coach and I'm like yeah he's like no way no way (laughs) I think it just is to your point like this city has something about it and soccer wise it's been here and has been the biggest that it's ever been I mean Jim knows that you know Tom you know that like there's guys that have just been around soccer in this community for so long we're just glad that we're a part. Coach, you have uh, previous experiences playing finals. How can you use that to motivate this group? Yeah, I told them I don't lose many of these things. So, um, but I think that I get that confidence from them. And I just want them to feel like that they're ready and prepared. And that's what, when you come to playoff time, you need to feel like you're ready, that there is nothing that a team is gonna throw at you that you haven't seen so far. In this case, we're playing a team we haven't seen all year. So I think it's gonna be really interesting from our perspective and theirs, you know, can they haven't seen us either, right? And so it's gonna be fun that way. But I just think about the preparation puts us in a really good position to be confident that we're ready and prepared. Speaking of Columbus. Jim, uh, next, I promise, okay. all right? Speaking okay. of Columbus, what can you say about Columbus? What have you seen from them? I think they're a similar team to us in that they have a mix of players uh, that are quality 
they're right there uh, to make the first team. And in fact, you guys can figure it out. They move the kickoff time so that two of those guys can play on Saturday and play with the first team on Sunday. So, okay, that's interesting, but they're good is my point. They're well coached, they're well organized. They have the best home record in the league. Um, they were the champions of the East in the regular season. You know, they're in the final now. I mean, we're, we're facing the best of the best. Everybody, everybody healthy? Uh, yeah, we have, we have uh, you know, a full selection to choose from, which is fantastic. It means we have some tough decisions on who makes the, the roster for the game and obviously who starts, but um, that's what you want. All right, Coach said he wrote October 8th down on, on the board at the start of the season. Did you really think when all this was coming together, okay, we can be here at the end? 100%. Yeah, I think I believed from the get-go. I don't know if I wrote it on my calendar. I don't know if he – maybe he did write it on his calendar, but uh, something we knew uh, – we had big goals at the beginning of the year, but we had to take it day by day and, you know, start it with those first games, you know, get off to a good roll and good momentum to end up in the playoffs and then take care of North Texas and Tacoma to end up here in the championship. Obviously a lot of skill out there, but just how has the camaraderie been? How big of a factor is that in your success? I mean, it's huge. You notice it uh, on and off the pitch. The guys really enjoy, you know, being around each other. Um, and I think that translates to on the pitch pretty effectively. Um, new guys have come in, have adapted super well to the team, to the culture, to the principles. I know um, you mentioned the team had some goals at the beginning of the year. In terms of personal goals, did you have any goals when the season started? Yeah, I mean, obviously, to sign for the first team was was my big my big personal goal, uh, which I, I was super thankful the club took care of me uh, months ago. So just to, just allowed me to focus on you know just only team goals, right? And so that's what what's been my mindset, you know, the whole time, but especially throughout, just making sure like I knew I was taking care of my wife, you know, just our setup, everything. So that was special. What have you thought about the fan support and just how crazy people are about this team? Yeah, it's, it's been awesome. I mean, we, we travel to all these different cities and you get 50 people to a game, 100 people to a game. And I understand they have first teams there already, but to have, you know, routinely over 2,000 people come into our games, they're loud the whole game. You see the interaction with the fans after the game shows how special they are to us.